Hi all. In this video, we are going to see how we will create a client packager of Securite for Windows platform. In order to create a client packager for Windows platform, first you need to come to endpoint security server side. So for me, this is my system. This is my endpoint security server. So in start menu, if you just scroll down, you can find the Securite Endpoint Security Console 7.60 folder. From there, you can access one tool. That tool is Client Packager tool. This tool will help us to create client packages that we can execute in client side for installing antivirus software in it. So either from start menu directly by browsing here, or you can search here by using client Packager, the keyword, it will list uh, that particular tool. You can open it or you can click on run as administrator. It's good to run as administrator to choose. I'm selecting that. So we got the window here. And now there are different fields available for this tool. For number one, client packager type custom or minimal. What kind of installation we are planning for? We are planning for local installation. For that, we don't require any kind of internet connectivity. If you want to install for roaming, at that case, we need to choose here minimal. So as of now, I am selecting custom, and then I am choosing the operating uh, plat operating system uh, platform as Windows over here. Then setup type, I can either select EXE or MSI. So exe for executable file that normally we use and msi for microsoft installer file so i'm creating here a 32-bit uh, setup file for client then you can choose whether antivirus to be included here or not if you select yes the setup size will be a bit high but it will contain that particular uh, av setup as well if you select no here uh, your package would not contain any antivirus setup so that it will download it from EPS console, which will take more time to complete the installation. So it's good to click yes over here. And you can also choose the group after installation, uh, how you want to manage that particular client, that group you can choose here. So by default, you can see the default group is selected. Apart from that, what all groups are available in your endpoint security console, any of that group can be selected from here. So as of now, I'm choosing default only here, and I selected that. Now, where you want to create the installer, I'm, I'm creating it in desktop of my system, so I'm choosing the path accordingly. Then you can choose the validity for this file you're creating. So after the expiry, that is after the end of that validity period, that file we cannot use for installing client. So minimum 30 days to maximum 180 days of validity period we can select. So after 180 days, if you want to again install one more client, then you need to create a new packager and use that to install endpoint security client. So I'm choosing 180 here. And then you can see here one checkbox that you can select in case you are installing uh, for remote location, then you can enter the public IP address mapped with your EPS server or the host name. So the remote users can uh, also make use of their public IP and through that the installation will take place. In our case, we are not enabling it because we are creating it for local installation. Then click on create button, which will help you to create the packager. Yes, you will be getting one warning. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I'm, click I'm clicking on yes over here. And it will ask also ask you to enter uh, a password protection for the setup if you wish to do that. So this is to avoid the misuse of this client packager. So if anyone uh, is having the access of the client packager without this password, they cannot execute it in any system. So it is good to set the password always. So I'm, click, I'm clicking on yes, and I'm entering one password over here. This password is not the client password. This is the password that we are setting for the packager to protect it from misuse. So click on OK. It will take some time to complete the creation of client packager for Windows operating system. So once it is created, 
we'll be getting a message in the screen. Let's wait for a while uh, to complete the entire process. Yes, we got a message. CLAGAV32.exe has been created successfully. So just click on OK. If you want to create a package again, you can make use of the same window. You can also see one send mail option here. You can send uh, this particular package via mail as well. But at that time, uh, you need to select no over here. Uh, we can send only the setup file without antivirus setup only via email. So as of now, we are not sending via email. So I'm closing this window over here and you can see the setup file with me. That is CLAGAV32.exe in my desktop. So I can transfer this file over network or I can transfer this to any removable device and share with my people so they can run that in their computer and we can install endpoint security client of Securite in their machine. So this is how we are creating client packager for Windows operating system to install endpoint security in clients. Thank you.